The Russians captured at the Vovchansk aggregate plant appealed to the Russian side and asked to be exchanged for fighters of the Azov regiment. Recall, on September 24, the defense intelligence of Ukraine announced that the Vovchansk aggregate plant had been liberated and cleared after a week-long operation. Ukrainian special forces managed to capture around 20 Russian soldiers during the mission. The prisoners were taken by the Russian Volunteer Corps, which fought as part of the Ukrainian army. An officer from the Timer Special Unit of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine who goes by the alias, Viking, has revealed details of its operation to liberate the Vovchansk aggregate plant in Kharkiv Oblast. Viking confirmed that the special forces were able to capture 20 Russian soldiers as a result of the operation, which went on for more than a week. The battle lasted just over a week. There was intense fire from the enemy. The enemy at the plant put up significant resistance, but ultimately we completed the mission successfully. Twenty Russians were captured at the Vovchansk aggregate plant and several dozen were killed. Another four attempted to leave the plant and were neutralized outside the plant's perimeter, he added. It is noted that Russian troops are deploying their maximum range weapons to target the Vovchansk aggregate plant in the Kharkiv region. This was reported by Colonel Vitaly Sarantsev, spokesperson for the Kharkiv Operational and Tactical Group. According to Sarantsev, the situation in the Kharkiv sector remains difficult as Russian forces continue to assault Ukrainian defensive positions. Vovchansk is currently the focal point of these attacks, with the aggregate plant becoming a primary target for Russian forces after its liberation. Despite not holding significant tactical value, the plant's loss dealt a considerable symbolic blow to the Russians. The enemy is now using the maximum range of its weapons in this area, said Sarantsev. Russian forces are deploying the TOS, 1A heavy flamethrower system and launching guided aerial bombs in an attempt to destroy the plant. The standard practice is to destroy what they couldn't hold on to, he added. It should be noted that the Russian servicemen recently captured by the Ukrainian army want to replace them with the servicemen of the Azov regiment who are in Russian captivity. A drone battle in the air no longer surprises, but Ukrainian UAV operators demonstrate a high level of skill in combating enemy drones. According to Defense Express media outlet, drone operators of the reconnaissance platoon of the 130th Territorial Defense Battalion released a video showcasing a truly unique case where an enemy reconnaissance drone, a Mavic type, was shot down using a dropped munition from a UAV. In the spectacular footage, it is clearly seen how the Russian drone was completely destroyed by an incredibly precise strike, while the Ukrainian drone continued its mission or returned to the operator. It is worth noting that shooting down a drone using a drop requires a high level of drone operator skill, as well as luck, especially in timing, the moment when the enemy UAV is hovering in the air. Another important factor is that the enemy drone must remain stationary at the time of impact, as hitting a moving target with dropped munitions is likely an impossible task. Drone operators report that this is the first confirmed case of shooting down an enemy drone using dropped munitions. In general, both Ukrainian military and the enemy are testing different methods to destroy enemy eyes in the air. Previously, videos occasionally surfaced showing one drone taking down another using the simple method of jamming. The Russians decided to test their first anti-aircraft FPV drones in this manner. The enemy collided with a Ukrainian Furia UAS, but they failed to shoot it down. The UAV successfully stabilized and returned, sustaining only minor damage. At the same time, it is worth mentioning that Ukrainian military continuously approves FPV drones and recently the Wild Hornets workshop managed to accelerate a drone to 325 kilometers an hour, which not only enhances its effectiveness against UAVs, but also provides more opportunities to target enemy helicopters, Defense Express says. 
Recently, Ukraine has eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis along the Dnipro River in a drone strike. Drones are one of the defining features of the more than two and a half years of fighting amid the Russia-Ukraine war. Hundreds of airborne drones zip across the skies above the front lines each day, ticking off tasks ranging from reconnaissance to targeting as well as kamikaze strikes designed to take out enemy armored vehicles, personnel and positions. Among the most famous are cheap, first-person view drones, well known by now, for zooming over the battlefield and capturing footage routinely shared online by both Russian and Ukrainian sources. Often, the video feed will cut off sharply as the drone careens towards its target and explodes. According to a post on X from United24 Media, a video shows Ukraine's operational command south eliminating Russian fighters riding a jet ski on the Dnipro River using FPV drones. Ukrainian FPV drone operators have eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis on the Dnipro River. United24 Media wrote on X alongside a video showing the drone strike.